Over the course of the last 12 months, one company has captured the imagination of the investing community. Vivocom International Holdings Berhad, previously known as Instacom Group Berhad, has seen its share price soar by over 400% from a year ago, making it the biggest company on Bursa Malaysia's ACE market, with a market capitalization approaching 800 million ringgit as at mid April 2016. So, a new name, a beef here or the book, and share price climbing. Things are certainly looking uh, really bright for this company here. Today, the stock closed at 33.5 cent, um, down 1.47%. But if we look at the share performance in one year, it's up more than 270%. So the company has definitely come a long way. Instacom will morph into a potential uh, construction giant with its order book rising from 2 billion to uh, from 2 billion to 5 billion ringgit in the next one to two years. And seeing as China Railway is the front runner for the 8 billion ringgit. Germa's Johor Bahru Real Project, CIMB also says that Instacom stands to secure up to 3 billion ringgit in awards from CRCC Malaysia in the real contract in this real project. So CIMB also says that it's an excellent buying opportunity when it comes to Instacom's share price and that they should take advantage of the current price uh, when it comes to accumulating Instacom shares. So they also believe that the company is a proxy, Instacom is a proxy for increasing Chinese FDIs into Malaysia. The company's stock has been covered by CIMB, which released an analyst report from November last year, giving then Instacom an ad rating and a target price of 67 cent per share. CIMB added that investors should take advantage of the current share price weakness to accumulate Instacom shares, as they present an excellent buying opportunity. Here's how leading technical analyst and trainer described Vivocom in a recent MS Global seminar. When you double up in your, on your investment, it is what we call a double beggar. Double beggar. Now, if you triple up on your investment, we call it a star stock. But if you four times return on your investment, oh my goodness, you call it a darling stock. And Vivocom is a darling stock. With this kind of stock, and if you trade it well, every day is Christmas. And every night, a New Year Eve. On 21 January, Maybank Retail Research also gave coverage to Instacom, concluding that when one looks at the FY17 valuation, it is attractive at a PE ratio of 3.1 times. For now, Positive news flow and continuous job wins will help to draw interest to the stock. A few days later, the research arm of MIDF Amana Investment Bank Berhad followed up to highlight the company's bright prospects, giving Vivocom a target price per share of 59 cents. While in early April, Mercury Securities became the latest research house to cover the stock, with an even higher fair value of 68.5 cents. At its current levels around 30 cent, investors are bracing themselves for a windfall. Which begs the question, why is there so much optimism within the investment community towards Vivocom? To answer that question, let's get back to Vivocom's roots of being a provider of eye solutions. So just a bit of a background, the company uh, was an e-business solution specialist in the past. Then in 2012, it diversified into a telecommunication infrastructure provider under the name Instacom. But last October, like you mentioned, that's when the company diversified its business portfolio to construction and also aluminium manufacturing. And in late January, the company changed its name from Instacom to Vivocom. So now the company gets revenue from three different segments, um, aluminium manufacturing, telco infrastructure and construction. And what sets the company apart from its peers in the construction industry are higher margins. And this is very important. Companies love higher margins. CRMB in a report said that Malaysian contractors typically earn pre-tax margins of 8 to 9%. But Vivocom's earning 12 to 13% in margins thanks to its business model of engaging in negotiated tenders. And being CRCC's in-house contractor certainly enables this sector beating margin for the company. The company credits its phenomenal success to its strong delivery capability and its ability to leverage strategic relationships under the leadership of Dato Sri Dr. Yo Seong Mok, who prior to this 
was also the project management consultant for China Railway Construction Corporation Limited, or CRCC. Since China Railway's entrance into South Asia, Dr. Yeo has been the key to facilitating CRCC success in securing projects totaling up to 40 billion ringgit in other Southeast Asian countries, including Malaysia. CRCC is the largest engineering contractor in China and among the world's largest integrated construction groups, ranking 79th among the Fortune Global 500 companies and 6th among China's top 500 enterprises. The group was also ranked number 1 by top engineering publication ENR in its listing of top 250 global contractors in 2013. And with its latest project in Gomba, Instacom has secured close to 600 million ringgit worth of contracts from CRCC Malaysia. Now, just a little bit of fun fact here. CRCC Malaysia is owned by China Railway Construction Corporation, which is well known as one of the biggest construction companies in both China and also in the world. Vivocom's role as an in-house contractor to CRCC, as well as being its project delivery partner in Malaysia, has led some analysts to see the company as a proxy play for Chinese investments in Malaysia. Vivocom is nevertheless a rousing success story that continues to get better over time. A look at Vivocom's healthy order books reveals some notable wins, including a 116 million ringgit project in Gomba and two projects totaling 378 million ringgit related to the one gateway project in Klang and one pavilion hilltop in Mont Kiara, Kuala Lumpur. In late January 2016, the company won a project totaling 240 million ringgit from Conef Corporation for Desa Tase in Sungai Bersi. And this was followed by a signing of a heads of agreement for an additional 230 million ringgit covering phase 5 of the same project. So just yesterday, the company said that it had inked a heads of agreement with de facto integrated to be the turnkey contractor for the development of a land in Perak with an estimated contract value of 160 million ringgit. Now, it's to be a mixed development with an estimated GDP of about 200 million ringgit. And this marks the company's second project in Perak because just last week, they bagged a 90 million ringgit contract, also a mixed development project in the state. So, Second project in Para and looks like they're really gaining momentum with winning contracts and solidifying their position as a construction player. Now to date, Vivocom has secured projects amounting more than 1.36 billion ringgit, including close to 600 million ringgit uh, worth of contracts from CRCC Malaysia. Which these projects, together with the company's current order book, are expected to give strong earnings visibility to the company for 2017 and beyond. Vivocom currently has a project pipeline estimated at 3 billion ringgit. Despite the giant leap into the construction sector, Vivocom's traditional focus on telecommunications and more recently aluminium engineering continues to deliver impressive results. Vivocom is an end-to-end -end solutions provider in the telecommunications industry. It has experience in building telecommunication towers and all related civil works for tower sites. As at 30 September 2015, it had an outstanding order book of 86 million ringgit, with almost 60% of its contracts coming from its main customer, being Maxis Berhard. During the past year, Vivocom has been revitalized with a new group corporate structure. In the past, Vivocom was predominantly involved in telecommunication engineering services. But in order to enhance its revenue and profitability, the group has now diversified its earnings base and has added the aluminium and construction businesses. For financial year 16 and 17, the construction business segment will take the lead in contributing to earnings growth followed by the aluminium business segment. According to Neta's Business Development Director, Albert Chia, since the acquisition by Vivocom last year, our business has grown by leaps and bounds. In particular, our aluminium manufacturing and installation business. We have secured almost 80 million ringgit worth of contracts during the past nine months alone, all from reputable developers with high-end prestigious projects such as KL Gateway, Marinox, and Stoner 3, to name a few. 
And let's get right to our guest, Chu Sing Chun, VivoCom's Executive Director. Now, Jackie and I were earlier talking about the transition that VivoCom has been making, not only a change in name from Instacom, VivoCom being the third change, but now you're looking to get the most of your business from your construction space. 760 million revenue, that's what you're looking for. How are you um, expecting to ensure that uh, is on track? Uh, basically, the, the project has already been executed. I'm basically trying to uh, make them roll on time. And, and I think that the, the division or the contribution from the three divisions are basically about 80% will come from construction. The remaining 10% were from each telco and from the aluminum manufacturing business. So typically, I think we, we, are, we are on track and we, are, we should be announcing our first quarter results by mid-May. Mm -hmm. And uh, we believe we probably will beat expectations by then. Touching on this point, MIDF research, as reported by Borneo Post on 30th April 2016, noted that Vivocom's current strategy is not to specialise as a contractor by putting all of its eggs in one nest, but to generalise its capabilities to further widen its order book. Unsurprisingly, Vivocom's strong relationship with China Railway continues to drive up investor sentiment in the stock. Uh, we've been hearing about uh, China Railway for quite a bit now uh, because just yesterday they were mentioned as uh, one of the frontrunners for the Johor Bahru uh, Rail Project. That's right. Now the Chinese construction company um, is known to be one of the popular ones to be uh, the frontrunner in bagging this 8 billion ringgit Germans Johor Bahru Rail Project, this big one, 8 billion ringgit. And according to CIMB, Instacom stands to benefit substantially from the subcontract works to be handed out by CRCC. Now, assuming that Instacom wins 25 to 40 percent of the subcontract works, CIMB says that it could secure two to three billion ringgit in contract awards from CRCC in this real project alone. Vivacom is an investing and trading stock, good liquidity and excellent trading range. Now that is Vivacom, my stock pick for 2016. According to CIMB Equity Research in its company notes dated 30th November. The recent sale of EDRA Global Energy to China General Nuclear Power Corporation, the China government's interest to bid for the 486-acre Bandar Malaysia development and the high-speed rail project, has ignited interest in proxy plays for increasing Chinese investments in Malaysia. We see Vivocom as a prime beneficiary of this emerging investment theme. In that same report, CIMB went on to conclude positively that we believe that Vivocom has massive PE re-rating potential given its large valuation gap with its construction peers. It still trades at FY17 at a PE of 4.6 times at a massive 66% discount to the sector average FY17 PE of 13.5 times. In my opinion, Vivocom is a good investment and trading stock, not a pump and dump stock. Investors who sit on Vivacom shares would benefit going forward. 